The terminology for the switched port analyzer feature, or SPAN, is first we have a binding of a session. This session says, I'm going to mirror this kind of traffic out to this destination. So the sorts of things that I can set up as what I'm what I consider my source. I could have a port be a poor uh, be a source. The port could be a source in terms of ingress traffic, egress traffic, but I could also have a VLAN be a source. I could have traffic that all traffic relevant to this VLAN is go could be a source. And then we have the destination. That's the other part of SPAN. We have traffic comes in, and the traffic gets mirrored to the SPAN destination. So there's a lot of different things you can monitor with this, but the big ones, looking at coming in or leaving a port, or traffic that is a part of a certain VLAN. The switch port analyzer feature sounds like a really advanced technology to configure. But plain vanilla span, plain vanilla span is, is not too bad. What you do is this. You set up your span source. Now, here's the syntax. It's a good example. Monitor session and then a number. Now, the number is significant because there's two parts of your span config. There's the source and then there's the destination. And the numeric value matches them up together. So you wouldn't want the top line to be one and the second line to be two because you wouldn't have a destination for span session one and you wouldn't have a source for span session two. Okay, so anytime you're monitoring, you need both a source and a destination. So the source says interface gigabit zero slash one and the destination is traffic is going to go out, mirrored traffic is going to go out gigabit zero slash two. Now, be careful here, because a lot of times we choose ingress or egress. Doesn't look like we've chosen that, so it's both ingress and egress on gig zero slash one. Let's go out to our own environment and get some exposure here as well, just to the raw syntax, get good with it. Okay, so monitor. Not a, lot of, not a lot of syntax right now. Then we choose a number. By the way, some chassis have a limited number of span sessions you can build, so don't be too surprised by that. And then we set up our source. So if I choose interface, let's say interface five. Now, the choices are both receive and transmit. Be explicit here. Be explicit. I would encourage you to say, both or receive or trans or, or you know this is for ingress traffic tx is for egress traffic it's that sort of thing you could also specify a range be careful because you're going to be shoveling out traffic you're shoveling out traffic to a port you better have the throughput available for that a lot of times we won't do an interface though we'll do a vlan so we'll say, hey, maybe traffic for VLAN 800, my management VLAN, uh, traffic that is coursing through this, or maybe just traffic that I receive, probably prefer to do just TX. And let's say that. Now, monitor session one destination. Where am I going to send this to? In this case, we're going to send it to an interface because we're just configuring this as local span. The remote option is for the R span feature where we tunnel it through a VLAN. So I'll configure this right now. One, zero, let's go four. And I'll just press enter there and away we go. So now traffic comes in for VLAN 800 it gets mirrored down to this port. And let's view this also. Show. We'll do a show span. Oh, that's not what I wanted.
There we go. For some reason, I was doing the spanning tree verification, but it's show monitor session, and you can see this is just local span traffic that is transmitted out VLAN 800, and we're going to send that down on gig 104. It's not tagged in any way, and we're not expecting traffic to be received on this interface. So good, concise output from the show monitor session command.